Greetings, I'm Connie Massey, Program Director for Educational Consulting Services here at Nellinet. I'm here today with Steve Spahn and he's going to tell you a little about our exciting new Drupal powered website. And we really are excited about Drupal here at Nellinet and what I'd like to do now is to walk you through some of the functionality that's in Drupal. Drupal is an open source content management system and portal in use by thousands of websites supporting communities around the world. We initially chose Drupal because of its ability to easily create communities and soon realized its capabilities to more broadly support Web 2.0 technologies. We also chose Drupal because it is open source. We hope that we will be in a better position to support our members as they explore open source solutions if we ourselves are active users. And Drupal as an active and user and developer community standing by to provide advice and customize features. If you are familiar with our old site, don't worry. Nearly everything on Nellinet's old website is here and it's still easy to find information about our events, services, and product offerings. Now with Drupal, we are able to offer member interest groups where members can share conversations, best practices, news, and more. An optional login enables participation in groups and conversations and the ability to access members-only content. Let's take a few moments to explore Drupal now. Our first stop is a selected list of our electronic resource offerings. As you can see, we must be logged in to access detailed information and membered pricing. Let's go ahead and create an account now. While we're here, we could also join one of the many groups. Be sure to provide your full name and institutional affiliation so that we can recognize you as a member. I won't actually go ahead and create an account now since I already have one, so let me go ahead and log in with mine. And let's see what I can do now with electronic resources. As you can see, I now have access to more detailed information, including pricing and licenses. Let's look at the planning, assessment, and accreditation group. I'm already a member of this group. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, the first thing I'd like to show you is the group notifications. This group offers an email subscription. You can easily sign yourself up to receive updates for the different groups in which you're a member. With your login, you can also add comments to postings. For example, let's say we had something to say about the Academic Workplace Report published in the Chronicle. And here I'm just instructing myself to go find the citation for a better report that was published in the Journal of Academic Librarianship. Okay. The last thing I'd like to show you in the new site is the wiki feature. 
and many of you already received the environmental scan that we sent out in September. The online version of the environmental scan is made for members to contribute their own thoughts and their own articles. Let's go ahead and edit one. Here again, I'm leaving myself a little note for some information that we could put in here to expand this article and make it more useful for members. That's all for now. Uh, let's go back to the presentation and I want to tell you about a few other things that we have to offer. Now that you have a taste of our Drupal website, we wanted to let you know about some of the workshops that we have available on Drupal and web development. Be sure to stay tuned for announcements of these classes. In addition to workshops, we have a team of people at Nellinet that are here to help you with Drupal and implementing other open source solutions. We're also looking for ways to use Drupal and other open source solutions to better serve our members. Thank you, Steve. As always, we value your feedback. Feel free to contact us with suggestions or comments. We look forward to seeing you online.